at those misty mountains. Got some clouds. Anyway, I'm Acorn. Welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time, welcome to the channel. And this weekend, I'm going to be backpacking the 30 mile West Rim Trail in Northern PA. Yesterday, I worked a half day at work, and then I had about an eight hour drive to get here to the Northern Terminus. And then I slept in my car last night, and it's about 6.30 right now. Uh, in two hours, I need to drive over to the Pine Creek Outfitters, which is less than a mile away, where I will catch a shuttle at 8.30. That's going to drop me off at the other end of the Southern Terminus. So, the plan is to do this trail in about two days. I'd like to make it back to my car Sunday night. It's Saturday morning right now. Um, just because it's supposed to rain the entire time. We have cell service here, so I just checked the hourly forecast. And it's not supposed to stop raining the entire time. Like, the whole two days. It's not actively raining right now. But there's a lot of clouds in the sky. And there's not really supposed to be any sun. So, I don't think I necessarily need to spend two nights out on trail if I can just hike... 15 miles each day and sleep in my car Sunday night. So that's the plan. Thanks for coming with me and I'll see you probably down at the Southern Terminus in a couple hours. So. We bought this van and it had like a backup camera and it was fancy and I, I decided this needed a name and not a number because it, you know this deserves to be treated right. <laughs> All right, so I just got dropped off at the Southern Terminus and I have a big climb up to get to the top of the canyon and then you're just at the top for the rest of the time except when you climb down on the other side and uh, I'm trying to get a little bit of a lead on the other two hikers that got dropped off because I don't want to do that awkward yo-yo thing where we keep passing each other for the first half of the day so I think I'm just gonna shoot up this hill and probably won't film too much till I get to the top but this creek that I'm walking along right now. So pretty. I'll show you over here. So cute. Nice. But anyway, I will see you at the top. A friend. Friend. Come back. So I used to think these were rare. It's Indian pipe or ghost something. They're not plants. Um, I don't know. I don't remember exactly. I think they're a fungi, but they take over like a host plant and they need a certain type of host plant to grow. But I've seen them on like every hike I've been on. So once I knew that what they were. So maybe they're not actually that rare. Still very cool though. So I made it to the top of the canyon. It was a pretty good little, I don't know, like 35, 40 minute climb up here. I am sweating a little because I went pretty fast, but now it's really flat. I'll show you. It's really beautiful ferns and the pines smell really good. Usually when people say they smell pines, I never can, but today, like, I can really smell it and it's beautiful. It's wonderful out here. So I don't really know what's next. I didn't do that much research on, you know, like the layout of the trail. I just know it's up and then you're on the canyon and the better views are at the second half, the northern part. So I don't know. I'll just show you when I see something interesting. What in the world? I know there's a lot of like historical buildings and things on the West Rim Trail, but dynamite? That's cool. I don't know what that is. It looks very old. Hmm. If anyone is familiar with the history of this particular area, which is Tioga State Forest, let me know in the comments. What is that sound?
rain jacket has gone on and I can't tell if the rain's about to start picking up. It kind of feels like it. So I might not be able to film for a little bit if it rains real hard, but the trail is beautiful. I love it so far. So many ferns, so much green, it's beautiful. You know, the thing I like about blueberry bushes is that you get a nice tasty snack on the trail, but you don't have all the thorns that blackberry bushes have. So I don't care if the blueberry bushes are overgrown. I'm not even getting my legs cut up. There's so many blueberries here. Seems like a good spot for a bear to be though. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. So it finally stopped raining. It rained really hard, like buckets, for like an hour and a half. It's a long time, and then it was still raining for a little while after that. And now I'm in all this gorgeous green. The only downside is it's stinging nettle. So I'm getting stung because it's kind of just like all over the trail. It's kind of unavoidable. And I don't know if I've ever been stung by stinging nettle before. I mean, maybe. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's more itchy than anything, I think. And when I get to a section that doesn't have the stinging nettle, it goes away after like, I don't know, seven or eight minutes. So it's very pretty, just, um, you know, a little itchy. <laughs> but there's a campground coming up. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it on the screen. Oh my god, hello! Look at this! Hi! Oh! I don't think it's focusing very well. Hello! Yeah. Come here. <laughs> I can't get it in focus. Hello, friend. But anyway. There's a campground, and I can't remember the name of it. Some man's name. Bradley Walter? I don't know. But it's in about five miles, and that is the unofficial halfway point of the West Rim Trail. So, I was going to take a break earlier in the day, but because of the rain, I just... There was no point. So, I'm just going to continue on to the campground, and then when I get there, regroup and see how much more I want to do for today. So, oh, I hate these, I'm gonna slip. I should probably not film while I go over this, but I'll probably update you when I get to the campground, so. It's beautiful. This would be a dramatic campsite. Look at that. Oh man. What is this? It's huge. Like... Oh, it's so big! It's so bright, I spotted it from the trail. Like, the trail's over there. But like, I saw it way far off trail. It's so vibrant. Is it a mushroom? Is it a fungus? If anybody knows, please let me know. I'm gonna look it up too when I get home, because this is so cool. It's so big, like, look at how big that is. It's wild. Well, that was close. Bradley Wales. This is cute. This is about 14 miles in, over there. That's a water pump back there. And then I'm gonna use the privy, and they got a few picnic tables. So I think I'm gonna take like a 15 minute break here, and then just keep hiking basically until I find a nice campsite. So a couple miles maybe, see what I find. Okay, I didn't walk a mile. I walked like 0.1 miles, but I found my campsite. Let me show you. Oh my gosh. And there's no one else here. Okay, wait for it. Let's get a little closer. This is going to be my campsite, and right behind me is where I will set up my tent. So, this is beautiful. I don't know if you can see quite as well as I can, but down there, 
you can like see down into the canyon. So let's set up camp and then I'm gonna watch the sunrise, right? I mean the sunset right from my tent. And this is gorgeous. Good morning. So small. Hello. You're very cute. Well, good morning. It's Sunday now. And I have approximately 16 miles to hike out to my car. Last night was pretty uneventful. Um, it didn't rain, which was nice. And we had a bit of sun this morning but now I see dark clouds rolling in so I would guess it's gonna be another rainy day but yeah I didn't sleep that great but I woke up feeling pretty good um, my legs still feel pretty fresh which is great so yeah just heading up the trail and I'll let you know when I see something cool This is how you work smarter, not harder. I'm filling up just in case there's not as much water on this half. I read that there was some sections of the West Rim Trail that didn't have a lot of water, but it must be the upcoming half because the last half had plenty of water. The rain already started, so on goes the rain jacket. Guess we just gotta embrace it today because I think it's gonna be a rainy one again. Now this would have been an amazing campsite. Look at that. Wow. That's beautiful. It stopped raining, by the way. I saw the sun for half a second, but um, now I see more clouds, so <laughs> we'll see how the weather goes. I'm enjoying this little break in the rain, though. I'm walking along this pretty gravel road by the creek now. And there's lots of butterflies but they're like too fast. I can't take a picture of them. Oh, there's like a little tiny waterfall over there. Here, I'll show you. Here. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Cute. Taking a little break because my feet hurt and I'm only like three to three and a half miles away from the car so it's only 1230 right now and I'm not in a big hurry because I'm not going anywhere tonight and just staying at my car so I have a little small climb up and then I'll have a gradual downhill descent for the rest of the way so 
I don't know if I'll see anything between now and the car, so I might just see you when I get back there. I keep getting teasers of the view. It's like, I can kind of see the river down there. I wonder if there will be a viewpoint up here. I feel like there's one viewpoint that I haven't seen yet that I saw when I was researching this trail. I guess we'll find out shortly. Nice. I think there is going to be a viewpoint because there's people who drove up here. I think it's this way. I think I'm a little scared to go down there. It's kind of gravelly. Like, I don't think that's one I want to go. Go down. I don't even think I'm at the actual viewpoint yet, but that is beautiful. So I'm all done with the West Rim Trail. I'm back in my car. I just cooked up a mountain house because I'm so hungry. I think I did a good job yesterday of eating enough calories, but today I just, the second half of the day, I just wasn't eating enough to properly fuel my hike. So now I'm gonna eat this mountain house instead. But I figured I would give my thoughts on the West Rim Trail really quick. And honestly, I have no complaints about this trail. It was great and it was 100% worth the 8 hour drive to get here. I mean, the views were gorgeous and even the forested parts that didn't have views, it was really nice. Like there were no super long climbs or any downhills that just went on forever. It was just nice like short climbs, downhills, you're on the ridge some, you'd see campsites. There were lots of water sources. Um, I read that water isn't necessarily abundant on all parts of this trail, but I don't know, maybe in a drier part of the season, but with all the rain we got, there was so much water, I didn't have to worry. The blazing was just phenomenal. I think I only had to pull out my all trails map twice. Um, I missed a turnoff twice, but then I realized it right away because it was so well blazed, so. Honestly, I recommend this to anyone. It's very beginner friendly. They make it easy with the shuttle at Pine Creek Outfitters. They were really great. Um, at the opposite end of the trail, there's even a free, uh, it's a payphone, but it's free in case of emergencies. There's plenty of bailout points. I mean, I don't know what more you could ask for in a trail. So highly recommend if you're in the area, or even if you're not, it might be worth driving out this way to come do the West Rim Trail. So that's all for today. I do have two more hikes planned in the next uh, couple months. I'm not gonna do a hike in July, I don't think, but August and October, I have some things in the works. So thanks for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you get to check out the West Rim Trail. Bye.